you're watching another Raw Instinct commentary. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Max here, or Ron Stink, and today I'm going to be covering a very highly requested video topic, and that is winning gunfights in Modern Warfare 3. Now, I know a few weeks ago we talked about winning gunfights once again in Modern Warfare 3, but that really only covered the proficiency focus, which I kind of tested out and I taught you guys a few things about, which once again, that highly applies to this video, but I'm going to be actually going over every single thing that I know about winning gunfights, and I'm going to be applying it to this video. It's going to go all the way from sensitivity to little things that you can do in your gameplay to help you become a better player. Now, once again, all all these tips are really going to help you get, become a better player, get a higher KD, and also once again, just win those gunfights that you might not win once in a while. Also, all these tips will apply to pretty much every single Call of Duty game, so it's very universal, whether it's Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, or even the upcoming Black Ops 2. So with that being said guys, make sure to sit back and relax, and let's get right into this awesome breakdown video. Alright, so my first tip for you guys is actually setting your butts in layout and actually messing around with it. Now, for some of my new players out there, I'm sure a lot of you guys are still playing on default. And for some of my veteran players out there, I'm sure you kind of mess around and you might be also playing on tactical. Now, the main differences between tactical settings and the default settings are mainly two buttons. And that is the B button, or I think the circle button on PS3, and the right analog stick. Basically, you're switching the motion from knifing and crouching, and you're just switching the buttons around. So instead of knifing with the right analog stick, you actually crouch with the right analog stick. Now the great thing about this is drop shotting. If you guys have never heard of this before, basically it's dropping to the ground very fast while you're shooting to kind of get an advantage over your enemy and it's much harder for your enemy to shoot you. So this is a big tip that I definitely suggest you guys check out guys. Once again, this probably helped my gameplay out around 30 to 40 percent and I've been playing on it for the past three years. A lot of great players out there play on it guys. So make sure to check that out and let's get right into our next tip. So for tip number two, we're going to be talking about head glitching and snaking. Now the importance of head glitching is just basically putting yourself in a position where it's easier for you to shoot your enemy than it is for them to shoot you. Now for example here, we're behind a desk on Arkin, which is a great spot, and it's much easier for you to shoot your enemy while behind the desk than it is for your enemy in the closet to try to shoot you outside. For example, if we take a little zoom in here, once again, we're sitting inside of the closet, and as you can see here with this little red dot, it's a very small target. I mean, the only place that you can basically hit your enemy is in the head, while if we take a look at the enemy standpoint, while if you're in the closet, it's much easier for them to be shooting you because they have pretty much a huge target to work with. So once again, positioning of the player is very key and essential. And as far as snaking goes, a lot of you guys may be curious what that is, and it's basically just kind of the little lag that's built into the game where you can actually sit behind an object, pop up really fast while you're shooting, and pop back down and actually kill the enemy, and you can't really, if you're in the enemy's position, you can't necessarily see them, and it's very hard to react, as you can see here. The enemy kills me, but at the same time, I couldn't even see him if we slow it down a little bit in slow motion here. So once again, sneaking is a great option if you're behind cover and you do know where the enemy is. And finally, something that you can actually do to enhance your gameplay is something called strafe jumping or shooting while you're strafing. Essentially, all you have to do is jump left to right while shooting an enemy, and it's just going to make it that much more difficult for your enemy to kill you. You can also tie this into the same category as drop shotting, because once again, what you're doing is just moving your character in quick little weird positions where it's a little harder for your enemy to actually aim down the sights and hit you, and you might have a slight upper hand. But anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy the video and I hope you enjoyed my few little ways to actually win gunfights in Modern Warfare 3. There's a few things that I left out of this video that included the focus proficiency, which I already talked about before. I'll put that at the end of this video. And also sensitivity. Now the reason why I didn't talk about sensitivity too much was due to the fact that I play personally on a 3 sensitivity. I used to play on a 10 and I did both on great. But once again, you have professional players who play on a 10 and you also have pro players who play on a 2. So it doesn't really matter too much. You can do great on either one. But if you guys did enjoy this video and would like to see more make sure to give this video a rating and click the like or the thumbs up button down below the last video got spectacular ratings and i really do appreciate it guys once again this is a great opportunity for my chance to really grow and i'm very glad you guys would like to see more modern warfare 3 comparison videos black ops 2 news and even some modern warfare 3 breakdowns but anyways guys it's max here or ron sync i'm signing out make sure to click that subscribe button up above if you haven't already done so and have a great day love you all sexy people so for two videos that you may have missed, on the left hand side I talk about the Scorpion versus the MP9 and what machine pistol is actually better, and on the right hand side I break down some leaked pictures from Black Ops 2 talking about the Quad Rotor which is a supposed new kill streak. click either one and also remember to check me out on Facebook and Twitter, links will be in the description below.